We're recording, Mike. Could I have you say that one more time? I got fucking big money, baby. Big money on these Mavericks right now. Game's about to start. I got big money on the Sixers. They fucked me the other night, but I trust them. They're first in the East. I trust them. I got money on the Hornets later tonight. Hopefully, I can fucking pay rent after this. And then uh, what else do we got? And then I got a parlay going for hockey tonight. I'm not a hockey fan at all, but what I like to do is I like to I like to do parlays for hockey, and I, I will just bet the teams whose names I like more. And parlay parlays are kind of like when you short a stock, right? Mm, I don't think so. Not at all. No, no. A parlay, a parlay. So, all right, for everybody, first off, welcome back. Welcome back to Good Vibes Live. I want to first and foremost say that my father is calling me. Let me let me just shoot him a text real quick. You can't talk to the father. You're podcasting. What you is literally, this? I'm saying, hey, hey, I'm podcasting. I'll call you after. Tell him to get a podcast. He's like, he's like, hey, yeah, I'm fucking dying. So it's it's a little bit urgent. No, I'm just kidding. Well, he's he's alive and well as far as I know. No, but uh, pretty uh, far behind. Back. So, so this is important too. But uh, keep going. Well, I was, you know, everybody here, everybody here who's uh, in listening, I want to welcome you guys back to Good Vibe Vibe, Good Vibes Live. It's been a little bit because uh, I, I, I was iffy on if I wanted to talk about this on air, but, I'm, you know, you know me, I'm an open book. I had an infection of the mouth that came from eating way too much ass. And so basically my face was, was Wait, what? fucking <laughs> <laughs> my face. No, I don't know why the fuck I had the infection. It's not actually for me to ask Liam. Liam gave that one away with his little giggle. But uh, no, my, my also, mouth to be clear. You don't know that that's not where that's true. Wrong. Fair. It could you don't be know for, for sure. Ass. It could be it's, for meeting ass. I do love to st- eat ass. Statistically speaking, it's probably like it's probably for me eating ass ballpark of possibility but that's one that's was, why i was laughing so hard it was so believable. because it could it could be why yeah I now my face yeah. was fucking double the size it is now my handsome beautiful face and i just couldn't even fucking like i was i was in so much pain i wanted to cry for like four or five days and i was just ripping antibiotics fucking shit, shitting my pants they just, just horrible side effects of dookie yeah bro yeah we're fucking is this still is this still on am i still that's speaking good, yeah i'm still speaking yeah. all right so anyway, everybody, welcome back to Good Vibes Live. Um, me and Liam, you know, we, we took this time off. We took my my injured reserve time off to really plot, to really game plan. So we're coming at you guys hot this week with all new segments, all new ideas. We're gonna we're gonna run the ship a little differently. And I guess it's starting off with me talking about my newfound gambling addiction. So for those of you who don't know. I love to get addicted to things. It's my my biggest addiction might be getting addicted to things. I love Hold drugs. On. Go Hold ahead. On. Go times ahead. times Go ahead. is times. Is. Uh, how about we take it from the beginning, Mike? Where did okay. where did this start? Where did the <laughs> so actually? All right, if we're taking it from the beginning, beginning of my gambling addiction, it technically started my freshman year of college. I went down big. I lost a lot of money <laughs> really fast. And it kind of, it kind of turned me off from gambling for a while. It was like it was the universe's way of saying, "Hey, Mikey, maybe you shouldn't be gambling." I'll tell you guys. I, you know what? I'm gonna fucking tell you guys what happened that led to me realizing, like, maybe I shouldn't fucking gamble. Okay, so uh, I don't know how many you remember. 2015, 2014, 2014, 2015. Auburn. No, excuse me. Ole Miss versus Alabama. Okay, I have money. On Ole Miss, you know, I, I, at this time I was like, "Oh, why?" why? Oh, oh, at that Ole time, Miss. I'm sorry, but just for the people who have no idea what what an Ole Miss is, uh, what is an Ole Miss? It's, it's Ole a Mississippi? college in Mississippi. Yes, yes. Oh, I didn't know they, they have those there. They had a listen, listen to this, bro. They just, 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 just this past year got the Confederate flag off their campus. So that was that was to my point. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they, you know, it's education's the uh, root of all evil. So. In the south, Across either the way, way. When either way, get, you learn things like about depression. The liberal, the liberal yeah. agenda is littered throughout our college system. It's disgusting. Trump was robbed. He's gonna come back. He's gonna wow. win in twenty twenty four by Wrong. a landslide. By ninety, he's gonna get ninety percent of the vote. He's gonna get I every don't know. state but Massachusetts. 
I don't know if you're joking, but I did see a. I mean, I do know that you are. I, I, you know what? I, I'm going to stick with I don't know. If I'm not joking. joking. I'm not joking. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, think, I think that's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. If, we think, yeah. if we're predicting, it might. Because I saw a flag. The uh, Joe Biden. First off, Joe Biden's doing a fucking terrible job. He's he's God campaigning awful. for Trump. God awful. It's crazy. He is like, doing a fucking uh, horrible fucking job. Like the worst job so a bad. president can do. Like just especially after saying what up. he said, just lied about everything. I hate everything. Him. It's so transparent. Which I mean, it's, granted, I think we called it on this podcast. I think we called it just so everyone knows we are smarter than the general public. But um, <laughs> so <laughs> so fucking dude. I, I all right. Back to the gambling. We got we got to stay yeah, on topic. Yeah, yeah. Stay so on I'm topic. sorry. There's gambling. stuff to talk about, but there always will be. So gambling. Uh, I fucking so I'm a I'm a freshman in college, possibly first semester sophomore year. I'm pretty sure I was a freshman. I, I vividly remember it being in Chautauqua Hall. So I'm a fucking, you know, I'm down bad. I'm down bad with money. I'm I'm already down like 500 bucks at this point. And I'm like, oh, yo, fuck a college it. freshman. Yeah, yeah, dude, down bad, down bad. Like, all my money, bad. all of my money was going, all of my money was going to four locos and gambling. Like it was just like coming in and going out. And good, so good. I'm fucking. I, I say, you know what? This is my big opportunity. Ole Miss underdog. I'm I'm smashing and I'm smashing Ole Miss. I'm putting all everything I got on them. I'm going to get myself out of this hole. Lamar Treadwell. Motherfucker, I haven't forgot, okay? This <laughs> cocksucker. This cocksucker. <laughs> wide receiver for Ole Miss at the time. Might be playing for the Giants now. I don't know where he's at. I know he was on the Giants for a little bit. Uh, this dumb motherfucker on the one-yard line fumbles the ball to lose the game, Liam. And, <laughs> and I, I lose my fucking money, and I just cry. I just cried for fucking an hour like an hour two hours three days four days told my bookie i said listen don't don't take any more bets from me i can't do this anymore i'm done i'm down bad i'm out i'm, I'm calling it quits and then recent history i get a promotion a friend of mine a friend of mine hits me up he says yo if you sign up for FanDuel, which all my listeners out there who, who want in on this hit me up <laughs> We can get you fifty free dollars. It's a uh, it's a promo a code going on. Shut not up! Shut up! Not a sponsorship. <laughs> it's a it's a singular sponsorship. So he he hits me. Are up. We're using like, yeah, another podcast to sponsor. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a it's just a promo within FanDuel right now. So sure, he hits sure. me up. He's like, "Yo, I got this promo code. If you do a ten dollar bet, we can both get fifty dollars." So I I start looking at my chops. I'm like, "Oh God, yeah, like we're back, baby." We're back in action. Like the addiction is in full fledged again. I haven't even been fucking eating. I've just been gambling. And so fucking first night, <laughs> I bet I bet ten dollars on the Warriors. I forget who are they even. Playing. Oh, they're playing the fucking Hornets. Who I actually have money on tonight. So I'll, I'll beef with the Hornets is done. My beef with the Warriors, however, isn't specifically Draymond Green. For all our sports fans who are listeners. Draymond fucking great. First off, the Warriors have a fucking like seven point lead with like 38 seconds left. They should either, it's like a point and a half. No, I think it was a half a point spread. So, like, easy W for the fucking Warriors. Draymond Green plays the worst 38 seconds of basketball I've ever seen in my life. Motherfucker gets a technical foul for Terry Rozier to tie it up. And then Terry Rozier, scary Terry, I hope he does it tonight, hits a fucking game-winning jingo jango buzzer beater, and I lose my fucking money. And I know for a fact, I know for an absolute fact that Draymond was in on it and Vegas was in on it. And there's nothing anybody can tell me to, to say otherwise. But since then... I'm plus I'm, I'm I'm plus like a couple hundred dollars right now. I'm I'm on a hot streak. I'm feeling myself and uh, I'm just going to ride this baby to the moon. I know a lot of people are taking doge to the moon. I take my skill of gambling to the moon. So like I said all our listeners, if you want to get in the gambling game, if you want to become a degenerate gambler like your boy Mikey Carm, hit me up and uh and we can get some money going. We get some money going. Uh. Where'd you uh where'd you say that game was again. When was it? What year? What game? Like, uh, like the, the game, game that you started. lost some money on. Like, what? Uh, where? It was what? Twenty fourteen. I think it was twenty fourteen. It was Ole Miss versus Alabama. Uh, but where? Football. Where was it played? Football. I know. I got the football. Uh, I think in Ole Miss. Ole Miss. Cool. Cool. I, uh, you know, before going to college, I, um, I used to. I mean, I'm. I'm not. 
going to say I did this, but let's say what I did was this. Uh, I, I used to go to casinos. I was underage at, and I would gamble until I would win a questionable amount of money. And then I'd walk away before people would like, because I could go, if it was like, a, a, like less than a few hundred dollars, they weren't going to ID or even like bat an eye. And, um, you know, I had a, I swear to God, when I was underage, I was a lucky son of a bitch. Like on like penny slots and shit. I wasn't playing poker or anything. I don't really know how to do that. But like I've I tried it once and I was like, man, this is boring as fucking all hell. It, it, like it kind of it kind of was. It's not yeah, like Dungeons and or Dragons. Penny slots. Uh, poker. Penny slots are yeah, designed. Poker's, poker's for like, old degenerates. Poker's for yeah. like alcoholic dads. I bet I could get into it. Lose the, house, lose the deed of the house and then come home and feed their <laughs> wife. <laughs> it's like, oh man. You'll never believe what I did today. Poker night with the boys, honey. I'm not going to be home until 3 a.m. Get off my back. <laughs> Meanwhile, they got a newborn fucking crying, wearing a newspaper as a diaper because the dad gambled all their money away. It's not the first time. It won't be the last. You know, That's you what gotta... happened when I was a child. I had myself convinced that I could, because of the hot streak I had while underage going to casinos, that I was going to be able to realistically pay off all my student loans while going to school from gambling. You want to know how far that plan got me, Mike? Did you did you get in the hole? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm in the hole. Yeah, I'm definitely in the, hole. in the hole. I did. Hey. I, I fell. I fell through the hole. Is 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 sports gambling like is online sports gambling legal in Massachusetts? Uh, I I believe like FanDuel is legit. Like online, okay, if that's right. a, if that counts. I don't yeah, watch yeah, yeah. sports enough. Because you to, can't like, do it in New York. Yeah, I don't watch sports enough to like get into sports betting. Like I'll bet on. It's because you don't bet on them. It's because you don't bet on them. That's why you no. don't watch them enough. I just yeah, and I, and I do get that. Uh, Chris Stapps uh, will... playing by the way, which is huge. I have the Mavericks game on right now. Chris Stapps was questionable before the game. He's playing. How's he so That's huge. A tall, tall as hell. Yeah, I bet you kind of. You know, I'm a pretty tall guy. People assume when they see me that I uh, would play basketball, but you're tall for sure. But I don't I'm know pretty if you have, uncoordinated. If you have the look about you for basketball, well, like I get that a lot, um, people. But like, you'd be surprised. I, I dunk, man. I do dunk. Everyone, you should be able to dunk. I mean, not that's, that's not when anyone's around. Not when anyone's around. But I dunk pretty hard. Uh, it's pretty good stuff, Mike. Let me talk about I don't. So I don't really gamble that much, but I can use this as kind of like a segue into where I'm getting my fix. Your own gambling and that's addiction. that's from get uh, yeah falling into the the stock market. You know, which I'm, is uh, you know is gambling at the end for of the sure. It's 100. percent I just think it's I think it's a little bit like you can be a little bit more calculated on your investments. You'd be surprised but like, how calculated there's a you can lot be with sports of gambling. Wild. And I'm sure that's true. If you follow trades, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I, if you, I feel like it's the same. That you're, you, you, if it's you the follow same both enough, yeah. you can make some serious money. Yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't made like some serious money yet. I, I really got involved. Uh, you know, I, that whole Wall Street bets, like on Reddit, GameStop stock thing was going on. And I was like, man, fuck, it'd be cool to be just making a ton of money off of hedge funds right now. So I like, I started exploring, you know, crypto. I bought a, I'm a, uh, you know, as, as we've said, uh, any positive things we say about Doge, it should be clear that we have th- millions of dollars. Uh, Are you Doge. still holding on Doge? I will never let go of Doge. There's no reason I to still, let go I still of Doge. Doge. I, have I know you, hands. you're hands. a coward. You're a fucking coward. I'm a coward. I'm a coward. And well, I'm going to be fucking about the real rich. revolution. Off a meme, okay. I'm gonna be rich off a of meme, and also don't tell me about a goddamn you, revolution. You, you know what I owned? You know what I owned over the weekend? What GameStop stock? Still, bro, it uh, what it was going through. It was surging again. It was up. It was up to almost two hundred dollars a share from like thirty. And I, 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 I picked, I picked up some. Now this is, this is, this should be a cooler story than it is. But I picked up some GME because I noticed it uh, was going up like really fucking fast all of a sudden i think around like last wednesday and i got in on around like 80 bucks and then like it was at 140 bucks in like three or four minutes 
And I was just like, this is in real life. My heart was racing. I didn't even have like that much. How much did you buy at 80? I I got like roughly two shares worth. So like, it was really fat, like, you know, for not really paying that close attention, all of a sudden I was up. Then I went to bed that night. And when I woke up the next day, Robin hood suspiciously logged me out of my accounts, Hmm. not making me able to sell and profit on, some of these stocks that I bought. No, now I'm forced to hold the bag of GME stock. And I bought more since because I, I believe in it. I think, I think it's going to go and keep going. Cause I think these short, I think these hedges funds haven't paid out fully. I don't know. I've watched a series of YouTube videos. that kind of break it down. They're probably weeks old and I'm using them as new knowledge, but I, uh, I, I am now at a point where Robinhood, for the record, is uh, the worst company ever, Flat. probably, the, the to need it. customer CEO. support uh, help. From. Piece of shit. Piece of shit, Mr. He's Vlad a bad is guy. a piece of shit. He's a bad guy. He's a bad guy. Nancy Pelosi, also a piece of shit. But Nan- Nancy Belushi is my least favorite um, politician that there Question. has ever been. Question. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. How do you feel about the idea? <clears throat> so Nancy Pelosi's huge on insider trading. That that woman makes fucking millions off the yeah. stock market. You gotta do that what you gotta do. Seems it's unfair. Hard. I feel it's hard as to if be a leader. Here's my my ethical moral question. If you are in office, if you are in public office, should you be allowed to own stocks? Stonks. No, probably no. not. No. Yeah. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. But, Especially when you could fucking when there's yeah, so much no. insider trading. You, when you can, when you also you can like create manipulate the market that will directly affect the market. So that's just yeah. like straightforward. Yeah. No, so, that's a that's a great that's a great point, Mike. That's one for Good Vibes you. Live, zero for politicians. So if you ask me, and you're, nobody is asking me, nobody is. But People if you asking. did, if you They're did talking. ask me, I would say. Good Vibes Live ha- has a better uh, platform to run this country on than any current politician. And we're going to take it to the White House someday. Yeah, no, absolutely. absolutely. That's, the end, they, that's the end game. That's the end a lot game of, for sure. A lot of people misconstrue what, what we're doing here. They think we're trying to make it as entertainers. They think we're trying to make it as podcasts, whatever they think, whatever they think. They think I'm, I'm trying to be a model, which, yeah, I get reached out for all the time really really ridiculously good looking we're but revolutionaries at the yeah at the end of the day we're here to make social change we're here to make political change we're here to make economic we're, we're here to fix make america great again at the end of the day that's what we're here to do that's what we're here to do we should sell a t-shirt that says <laughs> good vibes live make america great again it should uh, make america good vibes again no, it's got to be make America great. And then people will make America It's got to be like good a, vibes. It's going to be a shock. But for white guys, it did. How about we just do make America great? Make America great. Period. It's pretty simple. Like, and it's a meme, you know, on a joke. Anyway, Robin Hood cucked me from selling the mm-hmm. selling this game. So I was trying to just flip. And and skip, you know, as they say, the people on Wall Street. That's Flip how they skip, talk. baby. Yeah, I've I've heard that term thrown around. Diamond hands. Uh, I've heard thrown around. Um, stock. Stonk. Stonk. That's another one I've heard. Um, you trade e- stocks. Elon. Trade stonks. I've heard of Elon on stock market. Elon Musk, um, daddy. Yeah. So. Hold up. Uh, question, as far as question. yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's Actually, up? finish your story. Finish your story. Sure, sure, story. sure. So I'm like, I'm like, just trying to watch my stocks through other investing websites for like four or five days, uh, as Robin Hood tries and get back to me. They don't have a direct phone call, or you know, they don't have a desk that you can call. They have like six or seven different numbers that'll lead you to three, to a thirty second uh, recording of someone saying that you can reach them via email and then they hang up 
and there's like seven different recordings like they got seven different people to do this recorded thing which i think is psychotic um i think it's a psychotic uh thing to to do um eventually robin hood uh i uh, i had to shame them on twitter um i i had to uh I had to email uh, countless times. Uh, eventually they responded and then they said, okay, all we need is all your private information and we can give this to you. So I obviously, you know, was comfortable doing Obliged. that. Yeah. I, you know, I, ha- I had to get my money back. Uh, obviously I was just, I was like, I'll suck your dick, bro. I'll, su- I'll straight suck <laughs> your dick, Robin Hood. I, please give me this fucking money back. And I tried acting all tough, like, yo, I, I should be compensated for this. But they're like, yo, we have millions of customers. We don't give a fuck about you. So I just kind of had to take it because I'm the little guy. And, you know, Robin Hood's the bigger guy. And uh, it was, you know, I got cucked. I got cucked, Mike. And um, I think it'd be good for our uh, possibly spot in the algorithm if we call this episode Liam Gets Cucked. Liam gets cucked. Robin fucks the hood. And it's a picture of Robin Shabatsky getting bukkakied. I um I like Robin Shabatsky. I like uh, I like me some Colby Smolders. She's, is that uh, who the actress is that her name? From the, the hit television sitcom of the early two thousands. How I Met Your Ted Mother. Two. Ted three. D. Uh, Mike. Ted gotta, is the biggest pussy of all time, and I'm just going to come out and say it. I got a uh, kind of a question that's been uh, that's been eating me alive lately, Mike. Okay. Honestly, in, in my bed. What do you uh, What do you think about FOMO? Are you familiar with it? Oh, I have serious FOMO, dude. I have. <laughs> I have. Dude, I am the definition of fear of missing out. Like I, I started gambling again because I feel like I'm missing out on the high. You know what I mean? If, if, I, I'm one of those people where like, I, one, I, I hate not being invited to things. I fucking despise it. Even if I can't make it, I need the invitation. I fucking need it. Okay. And two, if my friends have fun without, I'm dead ass serious. I'm not even fucking joking. If my friends have fun without me, I don't consider them friends anymore. I think no. they're all, they're all Judases. The Judases and, and they, they, they're never real friends to begin with. Cause I should be the only time around me should be the only time you're having fun. In my opinion. That's not unreasonable. I don't think that's unreasonable. Well, I, I'm happy I uh, I asked you because you had that such um, I would say calculated response uh, to it. Can you uh, do, do you find yourself? You know, I think in the last year or so, a lot of us probably have have this feeling of FOMO, right? Where there, you know, fear of missing out on you know a normal like existence in you know not living in a pandemic right like what about all this Mm -hmm. fucking 22 to 23 year old pieces of shit that like got to enjoy life not during a pandemic time right what about that why couldn't i be one of those people huh why couldn't i be in new zealand Zealand? you're right they're they're rocking they've been without masks for months concerts everything open open but you should fucking you know, you know who can't go? You should take everything from them. First I've been off, to New Zealand. They why? lost a chance. Oh, no, no. They I'm lost a war to a fucking bird. You know about that? I don't know about that. I might be confusing it with Australia. They get really upset when you do that. But they do. They do. Kiwis. The Kiwis don't like that. I believe... In some part in the uh, th- this region... Um, there was, you know what, Mike? I'm gonna get the exact facts because I don't want to upset the Kiwis or the Aussies. Speaking of war against animals, this is actually an animal on animal war. Did you know? I don't remember where, what country it happened, but there was like a six year war of, uh, amongst chimpanzees in some country, like chimpanzees versus chimpanzees oh, went yeah. to war. They kill, bro. <laughs> they, uh... Okay, I, yeah, I, I do. I was confusing them. <clears throat> so yeah no they, they uh chimpanzees uh gorillas 
um they'll they'll kill they'll uh, hold vendettas and and shit i was i was just doing a, a pretty deep dive on um the uh shit so yeah um what is the buntai or the bungee ape in the congo uh that they thought was real for a long time it was like this the there was all these different crazy stories about this undiscovered uh ape that would nest on the grounds and in the trees and would hunt it was big enough to hunt lions uh but they there's it's still like a lot of the information's uh, uh, unconclusive. This, uh, there's a lot of stuff uh, in the uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo, in the swampland areas. They, they say that might have, you know, they don't know what's really going on. They say there might be an iguanodon, you know, from the movie Dinosaur, made by Disney, animated works. Um, he was an iguanodon. That was a good. How, that was a good movie. How do you feel about Bigfoot? Bigfoot, Real or not? Um, I think is I think is probably. You know, no one's ever really asked me this. I haven't had to do this publicly. Um, I don't want to. There's a lot of people I could upset. Yeah, one way I or could the be other. one of them. I, I'm pretty hardcore one way, so it's, it depends on where you're going with this. Obviously, I want to believe. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, we all want to believe. Okay. Um. Billy Billy Ape. That was what I was it's, it's called a Billy Ape. But uh, um I 